all right guys welcome back so all you guys an update on the ap racing brakes i have actually gone to the track a couple of times with them but things haven't really worked out the first day that i went out with the brakes uh, i was using the pads that i got with the brakes uh, i got these used if you guys remember the guy who i bought them from had some uh, new ebc pads sr21 and sr11s so I ran the SR11 in the SR21, sorry, in the front, and my Hawk uh, DTC 60s in the rear. All right, and I went to VIR. Unfortunately, those pads did not hold up. I literally melted the pads. see the rotor still has some some grooves in it um, and that's from that those pads like literally chewing away the rotor is good it, it's a little more squeaky so the grooves are just basically at this point you know they're just kind of part of the rotor so anyways so I got some Hawk DTC 70s some big boys in there and we're gonna head out to uh, Sebring International uh, and give you guys, you know, a good update on to how the brakes are doing. You know, uh, is there any real difference versus the stock setup? You know, or is this just kind of like a waste of time because it's basically the same size as stock? All right, guys, so stick around. Let's go. I gotta grow some balls there. <laughs> Focus and not, fight, not follow him though.
so weird. guys so we're back in home base i couldn't finish the video at uh, the track because unfortunately my boy josh's car broke down evil issues his uh, manifold came apart again uh so yeah we have to deal with that situation but anyways um so guys uh, the brakes the, the brakes are amazing okay uh super super confidence the pedal is i mean rock solid throughout a 25 30 minute session and you know sebring is a heartbreaking track there's a lot of areas where you know we're going from a 140 or 120 you know down to 50 down to 70 you know so there's a lot of heartbreaking zones uh and at this point it's really just up to me to break my old habits my old breaking habits and, and grow some balls and, and just go deeper you know because i can definitely do it now um, so it's very, very impressive. Uh, I do think it's a, it's, a, it's a big upgrade. Not just an upgrade, it's a big upgrade over the stock setup, even though this is the stock, this si same size as stock, you know. I also think that the change to the, to the 25 mil pads, yeah, there it goes. Uh, anyways, having a hard time focus, but there's, there's a lot of pad left, okay? So I have two track days uh, on those pads. Uh, the, the Hawk DTC 70s um, and they're still you know not not the full 25 mil but you know it looks like uh, it like way more than the 18 millimeters you get with a, with a regular pad and at this point on the stock calipers I would have been I would have been putting a new set of pads already um, so it looks like I have at least another two if not three track days on, left on these pads okay so <laughs> that's a huge game changer so pedal feel excellent consistency excellent pad uh the pad wear i don't know i don't think that the pad wear is any better or any worse but it's simply the fact that it's so much more consistent okay and you don't get anywhere near as much pad taper uh the you know and then you start with a 25 mil pad which ironically is cheaper than the stock shape pads so you know you get more for your money out of the out of these pads okay um the rotors seem to be holding up really good i mean they're they're crazed you know they got some heat checks but nothing you know nothing really 
out of the ordinary that you wouldn't get with any other braking uh, rotor, you know? So very, very happy with, with the setup. Uh, I wish I would have done sooner, okay? <laughs> so, and that says a lot. Now, as far as the rear, I don't really think that you need the rear, you know? Uh, the rears are fine. I don't see the, the yeah I just don't see the need for the rear I don't I don't need more braking power honestly at this point it's, it's just simply me working the courage of going deeper into the braking zone oh and I did put the all right you guys so I did put the sparkle seat I'll talk about that in a different video okay this is already probably long enough all right guys so I'll catch you in the next one peace